Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 120. Shit, boy. Uh, 120. This is it. We're here. Um, good step in the right direction, but, uh, uh, I'm still fucking here, okay? Not on the set. Wish I was, but I ain't. Still. Uh, But that day will come soon enough where we're back to business. I actually have been taking some notes. What the fuck? On what I should talk about because the last three episodes uh, have been garbage. You dig? So, I took some notes right here in my journal. I took my phone, but I gotta use my phone to record because I didn't, uh, didn't bring my camera cord. The cord, the cable for my, my camera. So I can't upload the footage. If you've been watching, you would have already known this, but you haven't been watching because nobody's watching. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, am I right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep things just the way they were keep the traditions going but the last three episodes have been absolute garbage for a few reasons one i'm not in the studio two i'm working away and when i work away i get extreme anxiety and depression uh and three i spend the majority of the day working so I come home late and I gotta get up early so there's really no time to plan but uh, so I've been taking you know during the breaks throughout the day I've been focusing on just figuring out what I'm gonna talk about on the poop cast so I wrote some shit down nothing good too crazy. It's still not as f- as exciting as it would be if I were in the fucking studio with the mushrooms behind me and the green table, you know. Uh, the lighting is poor here. I don't have anywhere to set my phone up, so I have it kind of wedged into my laptop right now, and I'm using my laptop screen as the lighting for my face. There is a lamp here, but guess what? There's no bulb in the lamp. How cool is that? (laughs) They give you a lamp, but they don't give you a bulb. Which I don't care. If I really needed one, I would have requested a bulb, but... There's a light above the bed, and that's all I need. And there's this light up here, which isn't that bright, and there's a light above the sink, which is all I need. So if you don't know, I'm working away have been for just about two weeks now. Uh, This is not the first time I've done this. I've done this a few times, more than a few times, and every time I hate it. It's not fun. Okay? I'm not going to tell you what profession I'm in because I don't want to. But maybe when I get out of it and this becomes my career, then I'll tell you. But for now, you don't need to know. Um, boppity boopity. Oh, so we're staying at what is called a camp. Uh, generally they're pretty good. The last one I stayed at was trash. We had to share bathrooms. Uh, and the, they're usually pretty nasty. Water all over the floor, shit on the sink, literal shit on the sink. Um, people leave their underwear in there. It's just not fun. But here, at this, we're in a new camp now. And this one's not too bad. We've got our own bathrooms. We've got to share with the neighbor, but... That's, uh... That's fine, because the neighbor is on night shift, and that's how they work it. Like, So he's on night shift working right now. Actually, I don't even have a neighbor. I haven't had one since I got here. So basically, I have the bathroom to myself. But everyone else has a neighbor, and, you know, 
So basically, even, even though they have a neighbor, they never see or hear their neighbor in the bathroom because they're on opposite shifts. Anyway, we have a, a bathroom, we have a fridge, a mini fridge. You get free food. You you come ho home from work or come here from work. You scan your card and they cook food and you just grab whatever the fuck you want as much as you want. And they have a wide variety of whatever the fuck. Tons of dessert, even the lunches are provided. You just go to the lunchroom, there's all kinds of fridges in there. You just pick whatever the fuck you want, put it in a bag. So that's kind of cool. Queen bed, flat screen. It's only about like a fucking 15 inch though. But it doesn't matter, I don't even watch TV. Uh, sink. Now the sink is in the room, not in the bathroom, so... Ah, I just farted. So that's nice. What else? I'm a garbage person. I'm really disappointed in the last three episodes. Or last two, I can't remember. I don't know. Whichever one... Just the last two that weren't in the studio. They were poorly done. Mostly because I was too depressed. But that's fine, it's only two episodes. This is episode 120, I figured I might as well put some effort into it, right? Sucks that it's, I don't have proper lighting, at least. Or even... Is this shit still recording? It better be. Okay, good. Thank the Lord Jesus. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? Oh yeah, I don't have the studio. But I will soon, okay? Be back to normal soon, don't you worry. Uh, so let's talk about some stuff, why don't we? I'm a little thirsty. I'm going to snag an apple juice. This is my lunch for tomorrow though. I can just go grab an apple juice in the morning. Not a big deal. It's open 24 hours. You just go and grab. The only problem I have about this place is the size of the garbage can. It's literally like a bowl on the floor. That's the garbage can. And the other thing, my room hasn't been cleaned yet. There's a zebra on here. Oasis Fruit Zoo. Not a sponsor. Oh yeah. I've been also... I would have uploaded this podcast, I would have recorded this podcast a bit earlier, like a few days earlier, but I've been quite sick the past two days. Today, I finally am starting to feel better, so I'm like, okay, I gotta film it now. Yeah, I've been, I've been sick. I done did been sick. Um, so yeah, I was going to talk about Greta Thunberg, is that her name? You know, the little girl who's fighting against climate change, she's like the face of it now. Um, uh, yeah, so like the place I'm working at right now Obviously, is not the field, or yeah, the, the the field of work I want to be in. I just happen to be in it because the town I live in only provides that type of work. It is. I don't even want to say what it is, man, because I hate it. I hate the fact that I'm in it. Because it's almost as though I'm promoting it. And I've said it before, but I'm not going to say it now. 
But you can figure it out, right? I'm in a camp. And, uh... <laughs> I could tell you where I'm at, I guess. If I tell you where I'm at, <laughs> then you'll definitely figure out what my... At least, you won't figure out what my position is, but you'll figure out what, you know, field of work I'm in. Should I tell them? I'm in Fort McMurray. Can you figure it out? Um, so when it comes to climate change, I am on the side of coming up with a solution for it, because I honestly believe I mean, it's hard to say whether you believe in something or not if you really don't do a lot of research on the topic. But I'm trusting the scientists that I follow, such as Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, um, what the hell's his name? Sam Harris. Is that who I'm thinking of? No, that's not him. But, well, I'm sure he's talked about it, but, uh, but if someone's... Eric Weinstein, I think... I don't know. You hear it across the board. Everyone understands it's an issue from the scientific community. So why doubt that, you know? And I also think switching to solar or wind energy and electric everything like let's say climate change wasn't real what's the harm in switching to a fucking electric you know like we're just stepping away from the fucking fossil what's wrong with that so I'm all for moving in that direction and I want to move in that direction I want to see the oil industry completely die. I really do. Maybe I shouldn't say that. But why not? Just get rid of it. We don't need it. Right? I should really be quiet. I'm sure people can hear me. <laughs> like, this is not the place. This is not the place to be talking about this. You understand? People here... Everyone here, I should say everyone, I'd say 99% of the people here who are working here, uh, they obviously, they love it, they all love it, but they all will deny climate change. They will all deny it. I could interview anyone here, they will deny it. Because yeah, they love this industry. My nose is fucking clogged right now. I don't know. I really miss Nova Scotia. That's where I grew up. That's where I was born and raised. Sydney. Cape Breton Island. Look it up. It's actually one of the top... Uh, most beautiful places in the world. It's fantastic. And there's not a lot of work out there. But you know what? The people out there have the best personality and the best outlook on life. And that's where I grew up. And I was so happy there. And then we fucking had to come move out to Alberta and fuck it all up. And the majority of people out east move to Alberta, or at least work in Alberta and fly back home. And then people in Alberta don't understand how the, the Easterners, which is, you know, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, anything on the East Coast, Albertans don't understand why Easterners fly in and fly out. They say, why don't you just move out here? Well, because Alberta fucking sucks, dick. I gotta be quiet.
I can't say this shit too loud because the walls here are fucking paper thin. Like, I have a neighbor on the other side, not on the bathroom side, on the other side. And he talks to his wife every night. And I can hear his wife on the phone. Well, he's obviously not on speaker, but still. I should be only be able to hear him. But I can hear his fucking wife. Drinking an apple juice out of a juice box is the most bitch-ass thing you can do as an adult man. Like, no, there's no, there's no man on this planet. I guess I shouldn't say that. What does it mean to be a man now? That term has changed. But it looks so... You just look... You come across as... Bitch ass. It's a bitch. You know? <laughs> like, how do you drink a juice box without looking like a little bitch? You can't. You gotta pour that shit into a glass. Pretend it's scotch or something. Have you all ever heard of, uh, speaking of Nova Scotia, have you all ever heard of the Hefalax, Halifax explosion? I can't remember what year it happened. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Oh, my lighting. My lighting's kind of getting fucked up here, but that's fine. Halifax explosion, real quick here. 1917, December 6th. Uh, da, 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 da. One of the biggest... Oh, here we go. One of the biggest explosions recorded to date. There were 2,000 deaths. 9,000 injuries. And what happened? Well... Um, 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 what did happen? The Norwegian vessel SS Imo collided with SS Mont Blanc, a French cargo ship laden with high explosives. Kablooey. It exploded. Hey! I can't see. There we go. Why did I bring that up? I wrote it down on the list for some reason. There used to be these Canadian heritage commercials on TV. They might still play them. But it's basically like, uh, just facts about Canada's history through commercials, uh, and little, like, uh, sketches. Um, um, recreating what happened. And the Halifax explosion was one of them. The guy sitting on the fucking Morse code machine. Trying to fucking type as fast as he can to tell people to get out of the way. But he didn't do it fast enough and it fucking... Kablooey. Kablam. Shkablablablu. <laughs> Everyone died. Not every A lot of people died. 2,000. And then 9,000 were injured. That's a lot of people. Especially for 1917. I mean, how many people even existed then? Well, there's a magnet. There's a magnet. What the fuck? There's a magnet on the bottom of my laptop. I dropped this paper clip. And it gets sucked into my laptop. And then it's like right clicking my mouse. I better stop that. That might fuck it up. That's interesting. Greta, uh, we were talking about Greta Thunberg. Is that her name? Can't remember. But 
but she really, uh, whether you agree or disagree with her, she got, she definitely got her message out there. She's almost the face of, uh, you know, doing something about climate change. <laughs> wonder, 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 I wonder what type of person she's going to be when she's like 25. Is she still going to be pushing for climate change? Well, I guess by then, we should have done something about it. <laughs> She's only like fucking 12 or something, right? She's a youngin. Um, we got more uh, Me Too movements happening. James Franco. I just read an article today that apparently the uh, film school or whatever that he started had, um, like these, uh, sex scene courses, classes, or whatever, and he would bring girls, he would bring girls in, film them, he'd have to, he'd, he'd tell them they have to audition for the sex scene, and he'd film them, or something like that, and then, I don't know, or maybe he'd have sex with them, I don't remember, I should have read it more. What kind of fucking podcast is this anyway? I don't even get my facts straight. I would if I was at home at the studio. Truce to me. Here, I don't have anything. And I'm not prepared. And I'm still a little sick. And I've got about 15 tablespoons of this inside of me. So... James Franco, he's on the uh, shit list right now. But I mean, what the fuck? It's not a surprise. And I'm not saying like, oh, I think James Franco is an asshole. What I'm saying is, everyone is on this goddamn Me Too shit list. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. You can get put into this cancel culture society being deemed as a rapist, pedophile, whatever, just by doing whatever the fuck. Can't even brush your teeth without being considered a, a rapist. Ugh. I just realized now that I brushed my teeth. The whole time drinking that, I didn't taste the toothpaste. But that time I did. That time I did. James Franco. I enjoy James Franco. He's a great actor. And he's pretty damn smart. Person. And, and not just because he went to fucking... Harvard or whatever. The guy's a really good actor. I remember the first time seeing him in Spider-Man. With, uh... The fuck? Tobey Maguire. Now that movie, I was... Very obsessed with. I wa That was the first movie I watched over and over again to the point where I damn near memorized every single word me and my friend we loved that movie it was a good movie we watched it over and over again then as the years went on I faded away from superheroes quickly Faded away from movies in general. I don't watch movies. Ever. 
very rarely. I watch documentaries, and when I find a TV show I like, I'll stick with it, and I'll repeat it over and over again, but there's very few TV shows I've seen. Um, I guess the last thing, which I'll slightly mention, is the wildlife. Wildlife? I've been hunched over this whole time because the camera's fucking angled down. So I feel like it's going to be a weird shot in too many ways. By me hunching down, I'm just expressing my fat all over my body. I also want to mention that I watched the newest Shane Dawson documentary with Jeffree Star. It's not about Jeffree Star. It's more about Shane's experience with Jeffree Star. And I've, I've always been a fan of Shane Dawson since day one. That guy is fucking brilliant. <clears throat> In so many ways. And people were hating on him for this newest documentary. Because that's something he's been getting into now and he's been fucking killing the game. Every time he uploads one of these, it's number one on trending for, like, a fucking month. Well, I don't know, maybe not a month, but at least a week. He's, you know, he really knows what he's doing in that sense. But these, and this, this newest one, a lot of people shit on him for it. But I actually enjoyed it. At first I was like, I don't know if I want to watch this, it's about makeup. But then I was like, I'll give it a shot. You know what? I've seen Shane Dawson go through his entire range of, you know, his whole evolution. I've seen it. And every time he evolved into something new, it was always a big hit. Every single time. And, I, like, no one does that. And no one gives him the credit that he deserves. So I just need to say that. The wildlife. There's a lot of fucking wildlife up here. Like we're on a... A site right now. It's like fucking a military base. You need a card to get in. You need to scan your card to do anything. You have to prove who you are. To do it, To get everywhere. And you're locked in here. It's fenced in completely. The camp is on the site. And so is the work. If you go out, you ain't coming back in. Unless you prove all your shit to them again. Um, so anyway, but while we're here, there's fucking wildlife all over the place. I've seen like three different types of foxes. This morning I saw a silver fox. It was basically a black fox with a white tail. A white tip tail. But it was early in the morning, so it was still dark. Um, the person I'm working with got a picture of it. Shitty picture. So I'll, I'll post that right here, if I remember. Which I should. Um, but then I saw a red fox the other day. Too far away to take a picture. And it was running, so. And there's fucking bears up here. A lot of them. There's so many that we had to do an actual bear awareness course where they teach you what to do if you encounter a bear. I haven't seen one. And I don't think I will because um because uh well, I think they're hibernating or they're about to, I don't know. I'm not a bear. I don't know anything about bears. I took the bear awareness course, but I didn't fucking pay attention. See, the thing is, when you do these types of work, they make you do online courses. It's like, too many. I can't tell you how many I've done over the years. But it's, I've gotten to a point where I don't pay attention. You just click play on the video. You click next on every slide. You just let it, you let it play. And you go 
play video games or something while it's playing. And when you hear the stupid idiot stop talking, you go hit next and next. And then there's a questionnaire at the end. You answer the questions, they're always easy. And then you pass and you get to print out a certificate. So, but, you know, everyone does it that way. No one pays attention because it's so brutal. They could be up to like two to eight hours of fucking nonsense. So you just print the certificate. Uh, if someone asked me, what do I do? If a bear approaches, I would say, I don't fucking know. Throw a rock at it. Run away. They even, they even gave us a, a rundown of what to do when you encounter a polar bear. Which I thought was kind of a little bit overkill because there's no polar bears, bears around here. But I guess they just got to cover everything. Because it's a generalized course online, so they don't know who's taking it where. You just do it. But basically, if a polar bear comes near you, you're fucked. Because a polar bear... They're fucking massive. And they're hungry. And they don't care about anything. They will eat and kill whatever's in front of them. No matter what. Whereas a black bear... They're kind of cautious about stuff. So if they see you, they're going to go the other way. But if you get close to them and they have a cub, then they'll do something about it. But you can still get away from them. And a grizzly bear, they're probably going to attack you, but... Ugh. I think I've had enough. This was a decent podcast. This was a decent episode. I'm satisfied with this. Um, so... That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 120. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell notification. And if you're listening on SoundCloud or any other audio platform, uh... I haven't came up with a statement to say about that, so. I don't think you can like on Spotify. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone. minutes 7.51 um um uh, I don't know man it's hard to fucking like I, I 